Okay, so um, Jackson sabotaged. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> did you actually use the, the, that name in high school? Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. Um, the, um, after an earthquake was published, a, a little while after it was published, um, the Jackson Hole Daily Paper ran a review of it that pretty much chronicled every single detail that wasn't exactly right in the book, um, which was wonderful. Um, and I think I think they even ended. I think that the reviewer even ended it with like maybe for her second book, Cynthia might actually take a trip to see our town. And I was like, no. Uh, but the students themselves were very welcoming. And um, did you say anything that might embarrass? No, not not a specific person, but like might embarrass the high school. You know, people yeah. might say students at our high school do that. Well, yes, I, I think that, um, I think one of the things that was particularly grating to that particular guy who had graduated from Jackson Hole High, and maybe to the high school students in general, was... Hello? <laughs> Yay! Um, was that um, how Clara saw them was very much as a 16-year-old as a outsider sees that school, not as it actually exists. And so when she comes into the school, she sees that it's very high end and the students mostly ignore her and she has some little like quips about, you know, the way they are and, and uh, what she notices about them that isn't accurate to the way that the school operates, but I think was very much an outsider's point of view of the school. And I think that that might have hurt their feelings a little bit, you know. Um, and um, I am actually going to do a big school event at Jackson Hole High um, this this coming spring, and I'm a little nervous <laughs> because it's the first time I've actually had to sort of face the music with them. But, um, but I, what I really wanted to show um, with the school was just, um, in spite of what her initial impressions were of the school or whatever, it's a place that she comes to find her home and wants to come back to. Um, and, and that's sort of how I approach any um, subject that I think is going to be controversial about a group or, you know, a, a place is that the characters can have their own prejudices or their own sort of skewed perspectives, but as long as in the end they sort of come through as human beings and, um, you know, real places, I think, I think you'll be forgiven of those things. But there's pros and cons to that, you know, to writing about a real place. So I think you're likely to have some naysayers um, if you write about a, a real place, and that's just part of the gig. So. Uh, the very first manuscript I ever wrote, which was really embarrassing. <laughs> um, it, it was uh, <clears throat> about a girl with uh, magical eyelashes. It was really bad. Um, and I tried to get that published. Then I wrote another book, also bad, tried to get that one published. Then I wrote three more, also no good, tried to get all of those published. <laughs> And so I wrote five manuscripts and tried to publish all of them before I wrote Chatter Me. So I don't know if that's, you know, confidence or, <laughs> or, or I don't know. Uh, I will say you do have magical eyes. You're living that book. Well, hers were purple, so <laughs> it gets worse, guys. <laughs> I hate telling this story. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I wrote two, and but I spent a lot of time with them. I was like not not very smart about it. I wrote um, a book, and then I wrote like the sequel, and neither one was sellable because the first one wasn't very good, and you're not going to sell the second book in a series. And um, it took me about eight years to figure that out, and then um, and then. Never Sky was the third manuscript, so. Um, 
I went to school for writing, and um, when I went into the master's program, there was this big emphasis emphasis on writing until your work reaches the level of art, which is a little bit pretentious, but I totally believed that. And I never considered trying to publish anything that I wrote because I didn't think it was at the level of art. And um, it wasn't until after I had graduated and was in a different program, um, and I met my husband, and he had like 100 short stories and poems on submission, and he's like, so, um, how are you doing with trying to get published? And I was like, uh, uh, yeah, I am, um, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I need to impress him, so I better send some, something out. <laughs> and uh, so I sent out five things. And, and now they're married. <laughs> and now we're married. Yes. Um, I sent out five things, um, like a, a sh one story to five places, and it got accepted. And my agent happened to read that story in a literary journal, and that's how I got my agent. <laughs> So I waited probably six years of hardcore writing before I ever tried to submit anything. Um, and, then, and then it was very sort of smooth from there. So um, I like to think that I saved myself. The, I don't know that I would have survived the rejection that I would have gotten if I had started to submit immediately after I started writing. But, um, so I think the timing was just right for when I did it. And, Thank God my husband came along and I was trying to impress him, right? Or I might still not be published. <laughs>